Hello and good evening. <laughs> Stay hydrated. It's once again Wednesday. Beer, of course. And uh, we're back. You're staying at Hydrate with. We're back. You just pee it out. With some more Pathfinder. <laughs> so, last week, um, you guys got a little bit more insight on the situation in Racker's Alley from uh, Ashani, the priest from the Grand Vault of Abadar. Uh, he explained that um, this problem began when his church began uh, started uh, asking for volunteers to get rid of any bodies, uh, transport them to the Gray District where uh, they could be prepared for their funerals. And they would do this in exchange for uh, cheaper healing services should they come down with blood veil or any other kind of sickness. Um, and some of them just got lazy and they were dumping them in Racker's Alley. And this led to uh, a bit of a vampire problem, which uh, you guys discovered when you arrived and dealt with. Are we going to run into Cade? <laughs> Thank <laughs> Thankfully, no, Cade was not present. Um, you know, never, okay. never say never, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> some of you, some of you were forced to spend a harrow point to get, uh, get a reroll against the energy drain from the vampire spawn. But otherwise you guys managed to take care of that issue without uh, too much difficulty. Um, Nadia and her sister Von Dilla discovering that they could, hurt vampires by touching them with cure spells was quite, quite good. <laughs> we liked that. Um, <clears throat> then you guys, <clears throat> you guys pursued the, uh, the gaseous forms of the vampires into a workshop um, where reef and sin were investigating a corpse of a man. They found um, a couple of items on him, a few random coins and um, a key ring. Meanwhile, uh, there was also a trap door, which uh, you guys looked at next. Uh, Theo made the discovery that the inside the trap door was a crawl space, and that's where all of the coffins belonging to the vampires were. So you guys then uh, essentially doused all of them in holy water, destroying them completely and utterly, and then you guys also looted their shit, which was uh, quite a, a larger amount of coins, and you also found a ring of jumping and a, uh, yes, you found a ring of jumping and this ring had been sculpted to look like, um, a bunch of intertwined, uh, spider legs. Looks really cool. And, um, you also found a set oh, of like here. bone, uh, kind of like pan flute pipes, um, which were identified as, uh, pipes of haunting. Um, the other kind of important item that you found was, uh, there was a lockbox inside of the next room that you guys went into, which was the storefront for, uh, Jatori's toys. Um, you located this lockbox and you found, um, again, a few, few coins, uh, as well as a, a brass key. And this brass key has some importance as it is shaped in the holy symbol of Avatar. And it has a number on it, uh, number 261. Um, there were a couple of you, I think it was uh, Nadia and Sarah, that made a religion check on the key. And um, they determined that this key goes to um, sort of like a, a private like safe deposit box at the Grand Vault of Abadar. And if you were to bring this key there, then you might be able to learn a bit more about um, you know who this guy is and perhaps even take possession of his remaining possessions. So um, that's where we left off. Um, kind of like I said earlier during the day, you know, I have stuff planned to move the story along. If you guys want to do that, if not, and you'd rather, you know, Tim, I'm going to be completely honest. Like during the recap, I'm like, I'm trying to figure out why I don't remember any of this happening. Right. And then I remembered I wasn't there. You weren't here, yeah. <laughs> I went to the recap just for you. I remember any of this happening. What yeah. the fuck do you do that? <laughs> I'm like trying to rack my brain about what I was doing last Wednesday. And I'm like, oh yeah, I was at a Mets game. I perform Inception for those of you who don't show up. 
<laughs> Thank you. But yeah, so like I said, um, if you guys want to advance the story, we can do that. If you want to look into this key or do other things in the city, we can do that. Jesus, take the wheel. I mean, can I in- can I inspect the? You said it was a key, right? Yeah, it's a key that is in the shape of Abadar's holy symbol. What would I have to roll to inspect? What do you want to know about it? Uh, is it magical? <laughs> Uh, spellcraft. Well, actually, it would be someone casting detect magic than spellcraft. So oh, I, don't I do a good I don't backflip. I can't, can't see if the key is magical. That is unfortunately not how acrobatics works. I like yeah, the idea. What I know. <laughs> Wait, I have no engineering. Can I roll that for something? Um, for for what? Like like what? What are you trying to... I don't know. I want to figure out whether it goes to anything here. Oh, so yeah, no, like I said, that key doesn't go to anything in the store. It goes to um, like a like a safe deposit box at like the Grand Vault, so like Abadar's temple, which also serves as like the city's largest bank. Um, oh, so then it wouldn't be magical. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can likely not magical. Magic. Yes, you can. I can, I can detect, I can, okay. Okay, the key is not magical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we figured oh, this out. <laughs> I was just trying to what it is. I was like, oh, it's not magical. It's just a vault key. <laughs> I'm glad we got it. Ned, does it go to vault 33 or... Uh, 261. Like a different vault. Yeah, the, the number on it is 261. What does that vault do? Like, what, what experiment was had at that vault? Given that it's inside of a bank, probably nothing at all, but you never know. The, oh. These these religious types can be weird. All right, I, I guess, we can, go to the, guess. We, can we go to the vault, or does anyone want to do anything else? I want to do anything but that, personally. <laughs> Why? Well, can you justify your reasoning? I don't like churches very much. Oh, yeah, you guys had to drag him kicking bank. and screaming there the first time. Well, I don't then care. They- it, well then, dude, go, dude, it's a bank. Well then, go. You can go do whatever while we go check out the vault. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Trust me, don't screw me over. Ta-ta. All right. Well, at well, least take me with you. Take me with you. Nope. The king must go to the bank. It. He's literally the king of the horde. So good luck, guys. Ah, uh, so you admit it's a bank and not a, a church. I feel like it's primarily a, a church. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like it's a bad idea to leave Sin with him to his own devices. <laughs> so many war crimes, so little time. <laughs> sorry, I was muted. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so Sarah's been staring into space for a little bit, and then she, like, zones back in. She's like, wait. Where's Sin going? Oh, you want to go with him so he doesn't commit war crimes? No, I want to go to the bank. Where's he going? Oh, I have He's no not idea. To the bank. Because he hates religion, religious places. It's a freaking a bank where the money goes. I, I I screamed down the hall that sin is. I was like, "Cause he's a pussy." Sarah's like, "You know what? You're now. It's fine." No one. Um, how about do do we all want to go to the bank? Sin shouts. I mean, I think only one of us needs to go to the bank. It's just I'm I'm assuming it's like some Harry Potter thing where you just open and the door magically opens. <laughs> There's like, you know, uh, okay, so I don't know what that means, but I don't think it's magic. I think it's it's just a key. Um, you know, you know, is... you know what? You know what? You you guys can drag in only once. I'm staying out of it. I I want to know what Reef thinks because I haven't heard from Reef yet. That's what I was trying to trying to figure out because I said maybe take Reef with them, but Reef is, is AFK. Is, oh, I thought maybe. Like... No, Reef is okay, I'm here and I'm listening. <laughs> Oh, okay, Reef is back. Listening. The hole in his hand. Okay, the I believe you. His hand, uh, everyone, keeps, everyone keeps talking over each other. Damn! Yeah, that that's is, why I wasn't saying true. anything. Sorry. Oh, so I was like, Reef, what, what you, are you coming to the bank, or what do you think? Reef just kind of looks and goes, I want to find Gerald, but sure, we can go to the bank. Who the fuck is Gerald? I mean, if Ger- you want to go with Sin to find Gerald, you can do that. As long as it doesn't involve religion, you're fine. 
I feel like leaving Sin and the, and the dragon to their own devices is also a bad idea. Uh, we're gonna go. <laughs> okay. We're absolutely going together. Me and so Sin, that's happening. You guys, you guys start towards. <laughs> you guys start towards the the little opening in the <laughs> in the door here to leave, and in pops Gerald. Oh, that was having fun. As he um he uh, had come out of the building on the other side of the alley. And he just looks around. He says, I heard some commotion. Oh, it's you again. What happened here? Reef's just going to hug him and go, Gerald, you're not dead. No, no, I'm fine. Are you undead? Uh, we've been dealing with a lot of uh, bad actors who are dumping corpses where they shouldn't and doing murder sprees. It's, um, yeah. And then I heard that you might be in the range of that, and you were helpful enough to help me out last time. So uh, I came down here to make sure you were safe and make sure what's going on here. And my friends and I are going to go run errands now that you're not dead or maimed. And I didn't think that this part would be what happened. I'm glad this is the part that happened, though. I tapped his shoulder, and then I put my hand back and go, you haven't been infected, right? I just hugged you. He said he looks at his at his arms. There, there's no signs of blood veil. He just says, "I don't, I don't think so." Was there any of the plague down here? I look around and go, "What do I roll to see?" Well, so from last week, um, when you inspected the the pile of bodies outside, you found that there they were full of puncture wounds, and um, most, if not all, oh. of them had no visible signs of blood veil. I do what remember kind of that. Puncture? I just meant like inside the building, reflecting oh, very literal and like looking at gotcha. like, okay. oh, um, there any signs inside here? Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to divert to vampire corpses yet. Uh I think that's more of a spell. I think I'm pretty sure there's like a detect disease spell that you would oh, okay. do that. I wasn't sure. That's sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. Uh well I'm gonna be like, well there um I wouldn't say there's been some other revelations. Have you noticed any corpses that don't seem to be blood veiled but seem to be more pale? He says, um Well now that you mention it, the the couple that I took a quick look at out here were pale. Have you noticed any from before today in the time you've been doing the body moving? Oh no, I I tried not to get too close when it was happening before. You know, never know if it's something real sinister going on, which, you know, I guess if you're dumping a whole bunch of bodies in an alley, that's that's probably pretty sinister. But I just mean that there would there's like a murderer afoot or something. I clap his arm and shoulder and you go, "Absolutely right. There is a murderer afoot and one that is um possibly not as human as we think." And, um, I don't think you should stay over here anymore. That's my one warning, my friend. His eyes go a little, his eyes go a little wide and he just says, really? Are you sure? Uh, I'll spread this warning to you because you're the one touching their bodies. And I know that you'll be smart about who you share this information with. And I go, no one. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like you might be better off vacating to another part of the town for a little while um, while we sort this out as a favor to you, since you gave me a favor of information before. He says, OK, I. Uh, I always like the, the taverns on the, sh- the South Shore a little better anyway. <laughs> we laws of this gives him a few uh, gold pieces out of his bag of holding esque backpack and says that's a good idea my friend get yourself a nice bed there for a week or two as well he just gives you a and nod if, and sorry go ahead oh if you hear anything you know where to find us and i tell him where to look for us <laughs> i sorry i see you give him zolara's place yes. okay got it he says thanks friend and he like just leaves and goes about his business, walks away. All right, I come and walk over and slap Sin on the back, and I go, "Okay, buddy, to the bank." Sin's not there anymore, but no bank. Fuck you. Well, uh, that's what it, I went to turn to do. I mean, I can still about oh, yeah. go to look at Sin and go, "Oh, he didn't wait." Can I try persuading Sin? Where's Sin going? <laughs> it's going home. Fuck this. 
Can, can, can I try persuading Sin? That depends on what you say. There's money. No. And trophies. No. I, I, I'm Maybe gonna bring... There's, you, you, you know, more money for drugs? You don't want more drugs? <laughs> There's literally no drug in the world that can make me go in there willingly. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whorehouse right next door to the bank where they have some seriously nice drugs. You could just There's you could no just be at the of whorehouse. Big bitches that can get me in there. Fuck you. No, right. no, no, no. You don't have to go in the bank. You can go next to the bank. Just I'm putting. With the bank. I'm putting. I'm putting sit on the map and only in the very like corner of it, just so he can see what's going on. Um, Reese just, just throws his hands up and just goes, "Okay, buddy. You know what?" You sure I can't do persuasion? <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't, if, if, if you don't give me a good reason, then no, there's literally nothing you can say that <laughs> will make Zen change his mind. How is money oh. not a good reason? <laughs> uh, there's, there's, there's reason. I'm just not telling you. What what you tell us? Uh, uh, Reef is literally staring at you and going, "So you'll do all these things? You'll go into a goddamn temple if we ask you to, begrudgingly, but you won't go to let me see, uh, a bank." Uh, you forced me to go to the temple. Thank you very much. All right, then Reef just grabs you. Mm -hmm. I have no part in this. I tried doing it diplomatically. I have no part in this. I am I holding your hand. Away. Well, I'm literally oh, holding your hand. I'm oh, not like pulling you. you. I've just grabbed your hand like a toddler, and I am now holding your hand, standing in the corner with you, going, "So what are we doing?" I will. That's... I will help Reef. Are you backflipping away from me, holding your hand? Yes. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> what? You... Reef has to roll a combat maneuver check because I, I is... am aiding. I am aiding Reef because it seems like fun. Okay. CMB. Uh yeah. You both roll, and then if yours is above ten, okay. So that's a uh, fifteen, which I don't even think that's high enough. That's. Nope. That's yeah. Twenty-two. Uh. Seventeen, but yeah, still not high enough. Or he just backflips out uh, of the way. I'm, in, I'm fatigued from, from rage. I'm pretty sure it would go away at this point. But regardless. I mean, this is still like in the, you know, minutes. I, I guess, yeah. Minutes following the battle. So, yeah. <laughs> so, 19. Yeah, that's still, still not good enough. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Sing gets away. Reef just looks at him and goes, okay, you will not get any payment for any cut. And you've absolved yourself of any debt owed to you from the horde. Understood. See you. I just walk back to the group. And I oh, pat him on the shoulder. Hey, Reef did you dirty and I I stick my I stick my uh hands uh on the side of my ha my head like a moose and I go nee, 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 nee. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're part of the horde, but now as far as I'm concerned, if you're not going to the bank where all the monies are, uh, I, there's no debt owed to you, and I can not paying any debt because uh, you won't go to the place <laughs> that has the money, and I don't understand why, and you won't give me a reason why you won't go to the bank, bank place, so if you won't go to bank place, you must not want your money. Well, whatever, I'll just blackmail it from you later. Well, or you could just come to the bank and get paid. No. So you arrive, you at, the, you arrive at the Grand Vault. <laughs> <laughs> and um there's there's still a pretty decent crowd um but uh once again the uh the guys who are sort of um guarding the doors to ensure that there's not absolute chaos as people flood in trying to get healing that may or may not exist at the at the vault that day um they recognize you from before and they they wave you in uh you walk in and you highlighted too many tokens there in and you see that Ashani is there as well as another guy um let me put these guys back a square um another guy who is uh dressed in um uh clothing that is befitting of someone who is like the leader of of the church the grand vault however you want to refer to it um he uh Shani greets you all. He he says, Well, that's I how did it go um over there? I know it's it's been a day, not that um not that that's a bad thing, but it's been it's been stressful here. How how did it go in the alley? Uh, uh Okay. Reef tries to gain composure. 
Well, what did you find? Bodies. A lot of bodies, like we expected. Just regular bodies of corpses, of dead corpses. Just bodies. No undead, just bodies. <laughs> just I'm just bodies. Re- I'm just going to pat Reef on the back and be like, I think they get the idea after the first round of saying there's bodies. bodies. I don't know. I think there might have been bodies. Yeah. There's a Do- lot of bodies. Can I... Can I inspect them for any vampiric traits? Huh? I don't know, we just got sent to investigate bodies. It seems like vampires were the ones that drained the fucking body. So now I'm thinking that these people might be vampires in Reef's brain. He's not saying logically out loud, but I was asking the DM if there's anything Reef could see or investigate that he knows that would be vampiric traits and if they had them. Uh, this would okay. probably, again, be a spell. This is more of like a detect undead. Um... Let me see if there's any way to use a skill. A bitty kitty. Oh. Yeah, no, this would just be a detect on dead spell. Wouldn't perception work? Um, I will. I can detect evil, detect chaos, detect good, and detect law. Yeah, you can detect alignment. Um, so yeah, okay. Perception. I mean, they look. They look. They look. They're alive. Um, I okay, so I detect, then I'm detecting so evil. Okay. Then I'm detecting evil right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There, there's no evil. Okay. Detect it. Chaos. <laughs> God, this is an event. He's an evil. Uh, he's like too brown to be a vampire. That's not how any of this works. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> well, he can't be pale if he's brown. Well, no, the pale or the dead body, the corpses, the the drained corpses are pale because Why they back to blood. Them out right? Because if they are vampires, they are I don't want them to know that I know. So, <laughs> the only one of your little alignment checkers that um, that hits is uh, detect law. Law. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I have that as well. I have all the detect spells. Yeah, I, f- I figured you would just roll through them. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, that's what I was. Yeah, I was doing literally yeah. good chaos, evil, law. Yeah. Yeah. So d- detect law hits. What law? Like lawful alignments. Yeah. Abadar. So Abadar is a lawful, lawful neutral god. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be honest and frank with them and be like, what I tell you now does not leave uh, our conversation area here. And I say it quietly. Yeah, they, they look at each other and they seem to agree. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of the corpses are not from Blood Veil, but from vampires. We have a worse outbreak in the city than we thought. There's... A slight change in expression from both of them. Um, they are... You can tell that they're they are taking you very seriously. Um, Ishani says, How many did you find? Uh, well, we found an entire corpse pile of bodies that were dumped, and I would say 80 to 90% of them had nothing to do with blood veil on them. So uh, I think Blood Veil is real, but I think the chaos it's causing is um, covering up something much more sinister than a natural plague, which I don't know had natural causes as much as I think anymore. Well, I think that... I think that maybe what happened here is the corpses that were just left attracted... You said vampires? It probably attracted them to that location. This is the first time hearing of something like this, so... We'll definitely have to make sure we're keeping an eye out for any other cases. Just to be sure that this is... Well, either isolated or not. 
Reef just kind of looks even more perplexed and goes, Okay, so who would have the ability to hide vampires in this city? Well, that's a good question. What else What else did you find in the area? Um, did you go inside any buildings? Did you look anywhere else other than... Other than Racker's Alley? We did go into some of the buildings. You can see Reef start to feel a little more tense about giving more information. And none of the information we found inside of them was good. I look at everyone else. Don't rely on me. I'm like, this is out of I know. <laughs> I, I... I know, I, I know. No information about what happened. I really want to help, like, RP-wise. I just know that I would totally fuck it up, because I, even with the recap, I don't know exactly what happened. Um, okay. Yeah, take it so, away. Um. I'm trying to remember what I can do. I have no useful something. skills as of right now, so. Um, Ashani just says, okay, well, did it appear that there was evidence of, you know, these vampires moving around or were they just hiding out somewhere? I mean, we got attacked by them. Right, but I'm saying, did you... Did you find... Yes, it? we found three vampire spawn coffins. Uh, one definitely got away from us um, for a bit, but then we also found the actual coffins they were from and destroyed them, but they were only spawned. So that means, that, as I was asking earlier, if you knew of any places vampires could be conglomerating in the city because well we only found their fucking bastardized spawn and don't have free will and that means that there's someone bigger here that does and that's that's concerning Shani says well okay um I mean to be fair I I know about as much as you do I was not aware that um the vampires would be would be in play I when I heard on dead I thought you know maybe zombies or skeletons but Vampires, that brings a whole new element to this whole ordeal. Um, I shrug and I go, yeah, I, I didn't expect uh, that either. I thought like scully boys that I could just crack their heads open and watch their bone dust go. Oh. But no, no, these things were angry and strong and fast. And I did not enjoy as much as I thought I would. And now we have a friend who won't even come to the temple to talk to you guys about it. Because he does not like temples or banks or churches. And I can't even bribe him to come in here. And now he's just somewhere in oblivion, not knowing what the fuck is happening here. Yeah, he's so, only really coming in here because then he would have to admit that he is not evilly aligned like he thinks he is. <laughs> and he can't say anything to deny that. <laughs> nope, because he refuses to come in. Well, he's out of the loop now, but he's, he, he's um, a tief. So, would theoretically, would tief, tief things be allowed in holy places? I mean, there's really no reason why they wouldn't be, unless they were, you know, actively displaying, you know, the the iconography of a of a deity that is, you know, opposed or something like that. Like the the world, the world doesn't like fully trust them, but um, you know it's not like it's not like anyone's like you know outright banning them from places. Or, well, not too many people are outright banning them from places, or you know like genociding them or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, Shani, thanks you for the information. He says, well, it's. It's nice to see see that you've you've got to the bottom of at least that situation. Although, of course, we have more work to do with this this new info you brought us. 
Um, was there any other business that you wanted to attend to? Uh, not that I can think of. I don't know about the others, though. Guys, the reason just... the reason you came here. <laughs> yes, I know. I just yeah, I've been I don't know. Are we a supposed bunch to this like, tell time. them that we came here for what's in the vault? Like out of character. Like, are we supposed to tell them, or can we just like kind of like sneak by and just go to it anyways? Roll a perception check. Oh, can, I, can I use one of the three that I rolled before? <laughs> no. see that now and now I'm going to fail the position deck. There you go. Okay, Nadia, I mean, it, it doesn't take much to see that uh, the vault is currently, you know, all hands on deck still as they work feverishly to uh, help out the sick and the needy of the city. Um, so, and Rick is just going to... By needy, this, this includes people who it. deal with the vault keys. So Reef is going to look at them and go, as a courtesy, is it, could you help us get to a vault we need access to? We aren't <laughs> accessing anything we aren't supposed to. I've been, I have the key. I'm supposed to do this. I just know you have a bit of chaos going on with the city, and I could really use this favor to be able to, let's say, fast track that line. Sarah so looks at Reef very proud. For like using his diplomacy. Yeah, Reef is being diplomatic for one. Roll diplomacy. Well, that's up to the DM if I uh, need to. But... Yeah, sure, roll it. Let's just see how much of a smooth talker you are. Can I cast guidance? Oh Please. god. Well, that makes Please it. Guidance. That makes it a ten. So. Uh, I'm so glad you said it before the roll hit. I. <laughs> Ishani, Ishani, uh, just, you know, just focuses in on the fact that you said you had the key, and he was like. Sure, just just show me the key and I'll I'll help you out. Reef looks at him and goes, "I will show you the key." Very clearly stating only him, and then uses his wings to cover him and Ashani's face. So then the only people who can see what's in his hands is us. Okay, and I, as you're doing this, uh, Ashani sort of like turns to the guy sitting next to him. And he just says, "Well, anything I can see, you know, of course, the the archbanker here can can see as well." And Reese's wingspan is gigantic, so he just literally uses his wing to nudge the guy towards the other, both okay. of them, just squishing them together, and goes, "You're in this too, then." Like, okay. I, I I can move my wing. It's just enveloping both. It's fine. Ishani takes a look at the key and just says, ah, okay, yes, 261. I'll go fetch it for you. Sweet. Um, so. I say, can we come with it, you? I would prefer to see it open and can I assure first, all of its contents. First, can I, can, first, can I sense most I of think he's bringing us the box that the key opens. Yes, but that doesn't mean he doesn't open the box before he brings it to us, closes it, and again and gives it to us. Hey, how hey. can Reef? How can he open the box if he doesn't have the key? Because he literally he just asked for it. The key. No, he, he asked literally... to see the key, not to have the key. The book. The, he's DM, bringing up DM, the box DM, and we can DM. open it. He needs the key. This? He needs the key to get into the box. Thank to, you. With the contents. Oh, so. okay. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, then, yeah go with it. Yes, you can sense motive, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me not be the person. I was like, let the DM tell me what's right. I don't want to decide. Twenty-four. You're you're sure that there's nothing afoot here with Ashani. He's not he's not trying to dupe you or anything like that. He just is going about this by the proper protocols, with the head of the church standing next to him. <laughs> he is making sure that he does everything by the book. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> and uh he Shani looks at Reef and just says well I, I I can't take you all the way inside but you can accompany me to the door if you'd like Reef looks at the uh, Archvolt uh, the priest and asks 
what, uh, out of curiosity and respect, tells Ashanti, okay, what exactly would entail me being able to get access past that door out of curiosity? This whole thing is interesting to me. I've never seen such an efficient system. Genuine curiosity out of character. And in character. That he, could have also been in character. He just says, well, my, my friend, it's quite simply only those who give themselves in service to Abadar and serve the needs of this church and this city may enter the vault. Uh, Garen would not be pleased with me if I decided to switch up. So uh, I hand key to Johnny and give uh, my nod and look at everyone else going, fair, you, you take the key and come back. Yep, I'll be back yeah. in a couple minutes and he cool. walks away. Um, <sighs> Sarah gives Reef a hug like, or, like I'm going to join the hug. <laughs> You're going, you're, you are becoming a great king of the horde. I'm going to dogpile. I'm proud of you. Gonna, I'm going to dogpile Reef in a bear hug. <laughs> what a, what a touching moment all around. <laughs> um, okay. So. After a couple of minutes, Ishani returns with uh, with a box, and he opens it in front of you. And there are there are a few items. Um, kind of just seems like his this guy's like, uh, you know, life savings as well as you know maybe just a few other items that he thought he might need someday. Um, so you see uh, a bag that has some coin in it. That's uh, all gold. Um, you see what appears to be a set of, uh, of thieves tools. Um, pretty high quality looking thieves tools as well. Uh, very likely masterwork. Uh, there are a pair of boots that um, look pretty nice. And there is a huge stack of papers. Oh, no. Sarah oh. picks up the stack of papers. Okay. And starts reading them. Can I help Cheryl? I want to help Cheryl. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. As it turns out, um, the stack of papers are mostly uh, like schematics and designs for uh, for toys, and a lot of them don't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> Not, not that there's anything like evil or sinister going on. Like they just look like terrible toys. They just don't look like they'd be very good toys. Like, why on earth would I give this to a child? Pretty much, yeah. I would say that's like the great deal of of the papers. Some some are like business records, but yeah, it's pretty much all just like inventions that you know probably better off that the guy died because now they'll never see the light of day. So what's the, what's the that's harsh Sarah mm -hmm. here Sarah looks up at God because she hears that and says that that was me <laughs> and God says to Sarah they can't all be winners they can't all be um okay so you want to look so at the boots um attack magic okay hang on it's a cantrip ha 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 Yes, it is. And now Spellcraft. Yay. <laughs> 23 is good enough. These are boots of striding and springing. These boots increase the wearer's base land speed by 10 feet. Um... They uh, they also allow the wearer to make great leaps. Um, whenever you uh, use acrobatics to jump, you get a plus five competence bonus. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, 
Does Sandum know about the boots? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> oh, not at all. We're, we're, just, we're just typing in chat just for shits and giggles. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm just adding. I think it's funny. It's funny. I'm, I'm just fanning the flames for fun. Oh, yeah. Sarah, this whole Literally time, everyone has, me. has been thinking, boy, oh, it would be oh, awesome yeah. if Sin were here to pick what he wants. Too bad he's not. <laughs> ah. What are the again? What was that? <laughs> The again? Um, they increase your your base speed by ten feet, and whenever you use acrobatics to jump, you get a plus five. Oh, I think I could use those. I will say, I will say, I kind of, in character, I would be saying, I wonder if yeah, Sin would, I wonder if Sin would find these useful. Can I pull them? The... <laughs> Can I, I have them? Long he's not here to make that decision. Does anybody else want them? I do. I, I have re I have the next size stat in acrobatics. The only I want them. The only person who is currently wearing a feet slot item is Reef. I would like the boots. What What were you trying to say though, Reef? I know I heard you. I don't remember. Uh, it was going to ask a question. I'm I saw. I saw you're pulling on the rope. But I didn't even know if it was long enough, and then I tried to type three different things, and my keyboard froze, and then I was just button mash to see if it would work. <laughs> yeah. Speak it, and then mash. it worked. That is what that you looks might, like. Yes. You may see some from me in a minute because um, the ink from my pen exploded, and by exploded, I mean I was using a fountain pen and accidentally uh, tapped the, my cartridge out of the pen. Oh. So if you see button <laughs> mashing. It's because I'm cleaning ink off my keyboard. Oh, oh my. Okay. Uh, so. Good thing I ha got like an industrial pack of sterile alcohol prep pack. So yeah, if nobody, if nobody who is present is objecting to Theo getting the boots, then Theo will get the boots. Nope. Theo can have them. Well, okay. I. What's up? Yes, I'm. I'm not objecting, but I did have a very viable question. That giant rope that I had and tied to Sid. Um, did he let me? Because he never confirmed or denied. And I mean, if so, did it? It was it long enough to reach here. I would assume that like getting away from the handhold kind of meant that he was not interested in being tied to anybody. Um, and. I also imagine that Sid would want to be as far away from this church as possible, so that. That's my thought, but I didn't want to assume, and I wanted to make sure I put in an effort to get someone geared that they wanted in character. Okay. But if it's not feasible, and I'm not doing it. It's fair. You good. You lucked out, dude. I to be fair, Sarah is boots. purposely not fighting for Sin because she's annoyed with him. They're always annoyed with Sin. Yeah, not really. Literally always. A little bit, yeah. It's, it's, it's a thing. We constantly just like we're we we fight like siblings. I was about to say, sweet. Like if anybody hurts in, she'd kill them. What is but the... what exactly does the rope do? Because my Discord went silent, and I was just going based off the group chat. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, I asked if I I. Earlier, I said I was going to try to tie a rope to my Reef's hand and Sin's hand so they could literally pull on the edge of the rope if they wanted the other's attention while they were nowhere in actual line of or earshot of each other. But Sin then decided to acrobat the shit out of it and backflip out of things. And so Reef wasn't going to take him against his will and let him go. And he looped out of the hand rope. So I just pulled on a rope and it just started pulling back to me. And I realized that there was never any Sin attached to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's... Sarah did manage to get him in here last time. She was very proud of that. You rolled but... and rolled bad. You didn't do shit. No, you got in. That's I dragged you in. in. Nah, nah. nah. What you else, what else is in the vault besides the boots? The boots with the fur. No, I'm kidding. What else, did we get? what else did we get other than boots and schematics for bad toys? So yeah, it was the boots, it was the, the bad toy schematics, there was a set of Masterwork Thieves tools, and uh, some money. Um, Reef uh, is taking the Masterwork Thieves tools and Sarah's it's going to look at everybody and goes, so 
as much as I want to dunk Gunston, I have to ask, what, uh, what, are the Masterworks Thieves tools uh, useful for him? Yes. Henry has one. Sin does they already have break, one. Though. Don't they break, though? They do break. Yeah, so, so... There's, so, there's, so Sarah and Reef are cocky, and they're, she's like, as much as I want to give him shit for not being here, um, we should actually like make sure that he is able to get things from our horde. Well, yes. then again, Reef did say that him not coming in means that he forfeits any and all claims to any loot that we find. I, I know, that, I know, but did not he did. Say that. I did not say that. He did also fucking off that. the vampire spawn. I also did not say that. I said he forfeited any debt I owed him. So the debt being giving the him gold, items, the life debts and gold that I owe him for many other poor deals that Reef has made with him. So, that is the so only think thing about I would it say. This way. I'm trying to play devil's advocate here. If you give him an item out of this vault that ca that technically counts as paying off your debt. No, that's part of the horde thing we did as the horde together, not a personal debt that I was dumb to invest in. Yeah, so Sarah's like, so, and Sarah's saying we should at least make sure that we have something useful for him because he did also fight the vampire spawn and as much as I want to give him shit for not being here, I understand. I'm just going to give him shit, but he should still get, like, something. Um. Well, there's not, gonna... there's 90 gold pieces in the bag. <laughs> That's... Oh, we're splitting the gold evenly as much as Sarah wants to be a bitch and be like, and Sin gets none. <laughs> hey, what do I have? Oh, Bond Breaker's boots. Oh my god, I'm, I'm done. Cycle by claiming the boots. I'm claiming boots oh because they're not to me. Boots with the fur. And Sorry, somebody's not here to fucking lay claims to them saying, I've been here longer, so I, they're mine now, bitch. Reef, Reef is literally going to about face out of the fucking place and walk straight to Sin with the Masterwork tool. Let them finish talking. And as he's walking, he's going to pull the boots off of his feet. I'm going to then put them in Sin's hands and go, we're not done in the temple, but this is your share. I'm give sorry, him his are you gold. pulling the boots off my feet? No, no, no. My, Reef's uh, giving him his own, own boots. Feet. Oh. What are your boots oh, doing? Like, like, Reef, do you really want to fight me right now? <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight anyone. I'm sorry. I found a solution. <laughs> So, how are you looking like barefoot? It's a dragon. It's fine. It's, oh, are, you, are these the ones that you popped out the bottoms of? Yes. Yeah, reef, reef boots. But the bats are still there. Okay. Reef boots are called bomb breakers boots. Uh, three times per day, you can speak a command word as a swift action, causing a serrated knife to fly out from the boots and instantly slice through any non-magical bond that is currently restraining you. Um, this can cut through brambles, ropes, tanglefoot bags, vines, webs, or any other similar non-magical item restraining the wear, but cannot help when the owner is actively restrained by another creature. Um, they can also not free you from chains or manacles. So anything that is easily sliced through and not magic. Wow. Oh, Reef. You're ridiculous. I forgot I had these. I thought no you things. were giving him the master work, thieves work tools. Now you're just well, giving him the, the clothes. You literally said you weren't going to give him any debts. Now you're you're giving him an item of yours. Reef, which is because Reef is a nice person. In character, this is what happens. Literally learning this, what your boots do, made Reef realize he had magical boots that just have been flippy floppying on the top of his fucking claw feet, and then the realizes feet. that they are actually <laughs> useful to our fucking rogue person in our party, and goes, "Holy shit! Wait, I don't need to argue with anything about rogue? splitting loot." Uh, Sin is part rogue, yes, part 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 rogue. So I'm just, it's it, Reef just light bulb momented before anyone could take the light bulb away just about faced with the masterwork tolls his fucking share of gold and then went gave that to sin and said we're not done yet don't leave and then gave him that shit and went back inside so yes sin might need to repair them so they're not floppy floppy but the magic's still there it just the magic was in them the all ball. along and puts the boots on just in case someone tries to kidnap me. I don't like this place. <laughs> I don't like this place. 
Wait, are you in here now? No. No, no Reef went, went outside. Went... Reef yeah, went outside. Okay, so besides Boots, Masters of the Universe, is that all that was in there? Yeah, yeah, just four items. The coins, the boots, the thieves' tools, and the, um, the stack of drawings of bad looking toys that's it this guy didn't this guy didn't have much <laughs> the chat All right, so what do you what do you guys want to do? That's personally. I just hear a bunch of rolls. I had to step away for a sec. No, it's not rolls. Chatter. Uh, just look at the like the last few messages uh, in the group chat on on uh, rule twenty. Hold on. See, what if we were just to keep a, se a secret? Reef pulls on rope. I would cry. Keyboard smash. You getting boots, whatever, that. jealousy, betrayal, and anger. Like, read after uh, Allie posted the, what her boots do. You know, shits and giggles, he he ties you up after all. I remember giggles, bitch who. Allie explains the boots. Forgiven, but fuck you. You should have come with us. You don't know me. You should tell us. No, why? Because he a bitch. Trauma. That's what therapy is for. To solve trauma, not talk about fun. How that much tempted, perhaps. <laughs> it's <laughs> not for fun. We're not. Well, obviously, not like, re... therapy. We pay you to hear about your backstory. <laughs> like, to be fair, it's not for fun. It's so we can get to know you better and, like, you know, be better allies. You don't need to know that. It's not very. He's helpful. saying this to that emo anime boy again. Fuck you, I'm a rogue. I'm supposed to be H. Rules, I don't make them. I'm very confused. What happened? I don't know. When I don't know. Know. There was a lot of chat and chatter, and I stepped away to take care of, you know, exploding pen. And yeah, no, I, I, I asked what you guys want to do now, and and yeah, I don't. We never really made a decision. We just I don't know. Told Sin to suck it, and Theo's trying to sell him his boots. I want to go swap my new boots in front of Sin. Okay, I mean, yeah, no, you can... I, no, I'm kidding. Uh, but with Gerald, did he did he want us to come back? No, he oh. left. He he went to a different part of the city. Yeah, he, he followed Reef's advice and decided to just yeah, basically just go fuck off somewhere else in the city while the, the bodies are being cleared out. Oh, okay. There's vampires. Fuck this shit. Why is Sarah's hell zero? But... He died. Apparently, I died. I don't know. I didn't do that. Um. Someone else did it. Just okay, want I'm you all tired. to know, I literally have Mr. Sandman playing right now. Of course, you do. This um, is what this scene feels like to me. 
Anyway, so uh, just to keep things going here, Ashani uh, says that, um, you know, he, once again, he thanks you for the information, and then he says, "I'll uh, I'll head on over to the to the Citadel later to keep Cressa informed. I'll let her know that it's safe for her to send her guards in to start getting rid of the bodies." But it's not safe. Did you not listen to what we just told you? Yes, but you said you, you killed the vampires there. No, I said we killed the vampire spawn, not the vampires. The vampires are still out loud. It's just they're like little babies that we killed. Okay, well, we should still get rid of the bodies. But. Or, and hear me out, we use them as bait. Well, we could, but then we'd just be continuing to leave the bodies out in the open. Uh, well, perhaps we can give it another day or two and see what happens. But, all right. There we go. Did you have anything else for me? No. All right, I'm going to get back to helping out with the healing. Okay, bye. Yes, and let us know if there's anything else we can do to help. So, sure, we'll do. Goes over here somewhere. All right, so, uh, yeah. What's next? I imagine meeting up with Sin somewhere? Yes. Yeah. Okay, where do you want to go? Yeah, so I'm assuming, like, uh, Reese still has the rope, so Sarah is like, all right, let's follow that rope back to Sin. Well, I dropped the rope. Uh, the rope, I pulled it back to me because he there, never there's, there's him. no way. But Reef, I know where yeah. Sin is. <laughs> so I will walk us back to where Sin is that I last saw him when I gave him the stuff. It's just jumping on roofs, testing out his new ring of jumping. I like that. <laughs> Alright, so wh wherever it is that you find him, we'll just uh, we'll just start role playing from there. You you find Sin. I don't know. Maybe you spot him jumping on the roofs. Maybe you see him. Near a familiar place like Zalar's or the Jittery Quill or somewhere else, um, but wherever it is, you find Sin. Um, there's your there's your prompt to go ahead. <laughs> hey bastards! Look at that! You're still all the way you were. Excellent, perfect, excellent. Fuck you guys. Love you. Fuck you. But there are just hand what? him the thieves work the the thieves work tools and gold. And goes, we got you presents. Yay. Sin looks genuinely anxious and like not happy with what just happened. I'm going to look at Sin and go, honestly, we literally made a deal with them to do something and then had to go back for A, the deal, and B, to find out the items. I don't know what you wanted to do. We didn't force you to go in the temple this time. We respected that boundary when we did not last time and didn't force you to talk about why you don't want to go in the temple. So, They're you can be serious. angry, but I don't get it. They're like, look, I don't get it either, but then again, you also have seen me, like, break down either for real or fake, what, like, five times now? You've yet to see what I can do. <laughs> I'm not in a good opportunity. So, any leads, or are we just going to chill out for a little while? What? There's like, I really think we should find out. Well, A, we should go tell Cressida what's going on. Cool. Um, because I kind of feel like he didn't really get what I was saying when I'm like, okay, 
The vampire spawn are gone, but we still have the vampires, so that's a whole other issue. Um, so I think we should go tell Cressida. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we still do have to actually deal with Blood Veil, because that is happening at the same time. Oh, I got a wand of cure disease, so if you want, we can charge people like 200 at least to uh, cure it. We are not charging people to cure their blood veil. But what about what if it's rich noblemen that are assholes? We are not charging people to cure their blood veil. I no 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 no. I'm gonna sit on this. The nobles can pay. They can afford it. They're literally being sheltered from it in the first place so if they've somehow managed to get infected in their sheltered hobble then yeah they can pay for the services just like everyone else does at this temple and they could just pay full price not with a discount i see no harm in that briefcase it damn me up now let's get the fuck away from this church before i get the heebie-jeebies i look i'm still perplexed looking at at, at sarah as but also agreeing to get away from the church oh yeah no we should it, we don't need anything else here. I just... Anyway, um, so there's nothing else we need to do here, but we definitely should go update Cressida. At least that's what I think. I think that's Sounds a good, good plan. Let's do that. <laughs> Who wants her face? To... Citadel? Yeah. To Citadel. Okay. Cool. Glad I got that right. Sorry, I spaced for a second there. Um, okay, so... We all be spacing. We do be spacing. All right. Let's go to the Citadel. Shawnee is not there. It's on the chair. <laughs> You guys enter. Cresta is seated at her desk. Um, and uh, she says, Welcome back. How did it go? Mission success. Ish. Oh, what did you find? <coughs> you know what a vampire is? <laughs> she kind of rolls her eyes a little bit and says, Yes, I know what a vampire is. Oh, there was a vampire spawn. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, yes. we killed the three vampire spawn we saw, but... We is too many people, Sarah. Okay, either way. But we still need to find, you know, mommy and daddy vampire. Yeah, there were only vampire spawns. If there's vampire spawns, there has to be vampires. Which is bad. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you told me because now I know. Now I know not to send in some guards right away. What happened to the vampire spawn? Were they destroyed or simply incapacitated? Oh, destroyed. Well, they were destroyed, Completely. I think. They, they, they ain't coming back. Yeah, we kind of like decapitated them and threw them. We 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 dealt with it. They're they dead dead like. We killed them good, sad, sad as in like appropriately, and, and we like we doused. Them. What did we do? We drowned them. We decapitated them and then drowned them in holy water. Yeah, they're dead, dead. They, they ain't coming back. They're holed up in that like this this toy shop, which is which is wild because the store owner's dead, very dead. Okay. Hey, make well, you rest in macaroni. That's good to hear. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send a small team of guards. To kind of patrol that area for the next day or two. If there's no additional activity, then perhaps I'll give them the authorization to start moving bodies. Nope. Um, and you see that, you know, as she's talking, she's kind of just, she's looking like, you know, kind of stressed, exasperated. Um, and uh, once, once she like finishes her thought, she kind of like slumps down in her chair a little bit and uh, she says, forgive me. I, 
there was someone in here a little while ago and her story. Well, it was, it was tough to hear. There's this girl, this girl has been pleading at our gates for days to help her with a situation involving her brother. Um, the guards for some reason, maybe just, they were too busy. I, I don't know, but a lot of them kind of just blew her off. And when I finally heard about it myself, I, I had to, I had to hear her out. And, um, well, as it turns out, her brother has gone missing. Um, and actually, let me see if there's see if there's voice lines for this. Just uh, before with no hesitation in out of character sense is will help. Sarah, ki Sarah just like stares at Sin, open mouthed, like uh, I mean, yes, will help, absolutely. And she just looks at Sin's and mouths, "Are you okay?" Okay, yeah, Sinja's mouths, no. <laughs> um, okay, so there, there's no crest in the voice lines. Anyway, uh, she she says, yeah, this um, this girl, she said that uh, about a week or two ago, her brother came home and he was really excited uh, because as a turns out they um they both are part of a of an orchestra that's uh come out of their neighborhood um, she sings and he uh he plays the ocarina and he was really excited because and Cressida's, I'm not the only one who thought it. Cressida's gaze kind of lands on sarah for this she says he was really excited because he was personally requested to perform at a private masquerade. Oh no. And a large reason for his excitement was that it was taking place at the Carowind Manor. And that if, for those who aren't familiar, it's, it's owned by a family who are well-known patrons of the arts. Very, high class, high money sort of deal. So he went and he spent the night out at this party. But he uh he didn't return the next day. And so his his sister went to the estate and she claims that it was it appeared to be abandoned. There the doors were locked, the the windows were tightly curtained. And she noticed a, a funny smell coming from behind the doors. Um, she mentioned to me that in the days that she had been coming here to try to get us to help, that the guards sort of brushed her off. They, they said that they were just too busy. They were being stretched thin, which, to be fair, they are. But... <laughs> It's not like us to, to turn down someone who needs help. I'm already down to go, but I, I, I can tell you right now, if she's smelling funny things and uh, uh, the building's abandoned, you know there's probably some type of corpse on the other side, right? Uh, I knew that as soon as they said private masquerade. She... I, I elbow Sarah. Cressida just says, I wonder if anyone would recognize the name or at least the last name. The, the girl's name is Dayanira and their their surname is Mirakova. I make a knowledge local check. Anyone who has I it. I use my, uh, art, my chronicle to get a plus two because Sin knows everything. I don't think I need it. Sarah well, definitely well. knows. I roll a two. Oh, Sarah would have probably known anyway because they probably went we're in the same circles. God damn it, I'm trying. Oh, nice. Agree. Uh, Sin does not make the check. Reef does. Theo does not. I have a single point in it, thank you. Um, I mean, if they're not an elf, I wouldn't know who they are. That's a fair point. Um, but yeah, those of you who made the checks so at Saren Reef, you recognize the name. Uh, the brother's name is Ruan. Um, he was 
he was known as a as a prodigy in most uh, circles, um, mainly because he both plays a pretty unconventional instrument and he is masterful at it given his young age. Um, this is a you know this this kid is like probably like early twenties. Um, Sarah is just like, like a Sarah hears this and is just like, oh my god. Um, um, Cressida has she she holds up a small bag and she just says, "This is what Ruan's sister offered to anyone who would help." She says it's not much, but she looks through it and it's um. There's a bunch of like, you know, common goods. Um, there are a few like family heirlooms, like nothing that would be like Sarah's a like, especially no, no, useful. I, Sarah's like, I can't speak for my party, but I, I know them. I can't in good conscience take money for this. I'm doing it, mind you. Um, ad additionally, in the uh, in the bag of rewards is a. Uh, a season's worth of free passes to a place called the Marble Dome. And Sarah, you would know that as like the Marble Dome is a place where a lot of um, sort of like ensemble or like orchestra uh, performances occur in the city. But yeah. Um, Nadia, it's just Sarah looks like, Sarah's like, Nadia, you look like you have been like fighting to say something. What's up? Nadia? Oh, Nadia, uh, those reef is on how about you. I was muted. Hey, hey. That explains so much, because I'm like, we spoke over you? I didn't hear you at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. You it's are okay. not forgiven. How dare you? So anyways, so Sarah's like, uh, Nadia, you... Well, you're the, uh, well, more level-headed of us. Actually, no, that's not true. I'm the most level-headed, but I am honestly feel a little close to this because I knew them. We ran in the same circles. Um, well, I don't think running in circles is mentally healthy. No, I don't mean, like, literally. I meant, like, that <laughs> works. Or, you were making a joke, weren't you? <laughs> like, this is Sarah in character. You were slapping his knee. <laughs> Like, this is their in character. I was like, no, I don't mean literally. Like, oh, wait, you, you mean. <laughs> you <a> joke. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it's so easy to fall for it. I'm sorry, right. I'm a little shaken right now. Look, it's really yeah, hard to get okay, gigs as a musician. So you get what they, and I know what it's like to get what you think it's going to be a lucrative deal of deal and it ends up being nothing and this was worse than nothing this was probably death <laughs> I apparently just channeled my inner side belt I love it um all right Tim can you put how to spell their names can you put their names in the chat again for me so yeah the um the sister Lost the chat. There we go. Oh, I don't want to take this medicine. Take it. No. I don't want to take yeah. it. <laughs> That's the girl who came to the guard. Okay. This is the guy you're looking for. That's the location. Um, one other thing that Cressida mentions is that the she 
She says the, the strange smell is just something that I can't shake. I don't know. I don't know if it means that maybe, maybe there's some more information that we'll find on the disease or, well, perhaps this could be another, another step down the, down the undead trail, but so let me know what you find and be careful. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was. Uh, we'll do. Yeet. And Sarah's like, all right, so let's go. So Sarah, like, encourages everybody to walk out. Onwards. And as they get out, Sarah just tur she turns to Sin and goes, "What is wrong?" Several things. I'm just I know I know you left the office, Sin. I'm just grouping the tokens so I can copy them. It's fine. Okay. Like what happened? Like I'm happy that you want to do good, but like you're clearly not okay. What happened? Like what this went on while we were in while we were going through the freaking. Uh, bot, uh, bank loot. loot. This ain't a this ain't about doing good, all right. Personal matter. Sin, what's going on? Several things. Don't worry about it. Uh, look, I'm not gonna force you to tell us that, but I'm just know that I'm worried about you. Doubt it, but it's appreciated regardless. Okay, you agreed to help someone without knowing if we would get paid. I have every right to be nervous. I need to know if you're being turned into a vampire or oh my god, are you a doppelganger? <laughs> Did someone oh doppelganger do like this? He does a backflip. So Yes. That's not proof. Shit. Well, I got nothing. Sorry, I moved you guys. You want to. I moved you guys onto the city map just to show you where you're gonna be going. Um you go all the way down to the bottom to the bottom left. Um, oh wait, are your tokens not on this map? No, there they are. Top right. Top right. Okay. So yeah, if you go all the way down to the bottom left, um, the destination is H nineteen. You're on the western shore in the southern part of the city. Carry on. Can I go dip my toes in the sandy beaches? If you want to, sure. I like how you just don't object to that. They're like, yeah, we're, we're on a we're on a gold path, and Theo's just like, I'm gonna go dip my toesies in the sand water. Oh, um, he's lucky he might find a cabbage there. A cabbage. Yeah, and remind you of good old cabbage head. Oh yeah. I forgot about him already. It's crazy. Why'd you have to why'd you have to bring up my trauma, huh? I mean you said yeah, I mean, you about cabbage head like pretty chill, so it seemed like it was just a whatever type of thing. Yeah, he was a pretty chill dude until you murdered him. And I don't regret a thing. All right, so what the opportunity kind of, to go back in time, I would do it again. Chef is in the background of this audio because it sounds like I'm at a hibachi place right now. It's like got it's like guards training in the background. I'm about to change it anyway. Um, so I hear is like you know the women waka waka. Parents keep muted. No. I don't know, but like it's funny because it literally sounds like you're at a hibachi place when they bang the the two spatulas yeah, together. Kind of does, else yeah. But Sirenscape. Turn it up. I did. It's all the way up. I don't. We also stopped the audio. No, even before that, like I haven't heard Sirenscape at all. Oh, I hear it now. I didn't have I the volume all the way up on my end because I didn't want it to drown out your voices. Um, Everything will work there out. we go. Now I hear it. Anyway, so uh, you arrive uh, towards the, the front walkway of uh, Carolyn Manor. Um, this is a. Is that a organ? Let's see. What is what does Sirenscape call it? It just says uh, this. This music is just titled Spooky Manor. 
<laughs> so <laughs> I was close. I said haunted organ. We're going to spooky world, man. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this is uh, a very, um, you know, very stately, well decorated manor, um, clearly built for entertainment and parties and, you know, all sorts of rich people get togethers. Uh, the property itself includes, uh, the manor, uh, it, imp it includes a smaller, uh, residence for any servants. Uh, the, the garden is very meticulously taken care of. And then, uh, behind the manor to the right, there is uh, a pond and a, a gazebo and the pond is actually full of these like tiny uh, salamander like creatures um, that are said to uh, glow in the dark they're axolotls that are 100% poisonous I'll touch them so um, all around there there are uh, you know in, in from what you can see through the windows uh, the, the drapes and curtains are all like bright red color. Um, there are, you know, wreaths and garlands on a lot of the, the doors and some of the space in between the windows. Um, the, let's see, what else is noteworthy here? Uh, the front doors to the place appear to be very sturdy. Um, made of mahogany. And there are brass uh, banisters um, that rise about 15 feet above the door uh, to a balcony that sort of overhangs. God damn it, not mahogany. Mahogany. My only weakness. It's quite a run of okay. notes there. Jeez. Zen's gonna be sneaky, sneaky, and do like a quick uh, walk around the like outside the building to try to find anything. Okay, sure. Um, go ahead and roll perception as you walk around. All right, eyeballs, don't fail me now. Thirteen. Okay, so the the smell is horrible. Um, it's it's not particularly strong just because. Yeah, you know, there's not a lot of space for this scent to kind of come out of in the manor. It's very, it's not like it's right on the ground in front of you, but when you, when you do pick it up, it is quite strong. Um, it is a stench of rot and um, you're, you're left fairly sure that there's at least some undead in, in the manor. You, you also notice that the uh, both the servants' entrance to the manor, which is uh, around this side of the building here, um, the door there, as well as um, you take a look up at the door, the doors on the second floor balcony. Um, you don't get as good of a look at those, but... Um, the, those doors are currently stuck, um, indicating that you, you might have to, uh, to break those down or potentially use some kind of tools to, uh, kind of get them open. Eve tools, perhaps? The doors that are, the double doors that are directly in the front of the, of the manor are locked. Ooh, I'm good at a locking chip. So nothing, nothing, nothing worthy through the windows. The balcony has a door that's pretty much barricaded. We got a locked door, and then like this servant's door. Interesting. Hey, Rick. Yes. Make a decision. Do we go through the main door or do we go through the server's entrance? Server's entrance. All right, we, all, we all go to the server's entrance. Everyone crouch. Um, I'm gonna 
um, portal works. I guess I'm crawling now. Group stealth check. <laughs> Sorry, hold on, I don't have any tabs open. But... I have plus two because I have a hole. Let's go. Man, my dice. Are... Oh, never mind. Oh, we rolled the same anyway. All right, seven. Oh, I rolled a three. All that matters. All right, I got, I got a seventeen. Just I. Right. <laughs> Very stealthy. Gondola. Oh, I have a question. Today. I have a question. I, in my possession, have a wand of ghoul touch, and I know what it does. Is the smell I'm smelling the same smell that that smell that makes bodies that are paralyzed caught and smell? Wait, this do I need that smells smelly? I knew someone was going to get me with that, but I didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it, but I immediately realized what was happening when I said it. Because, um, because... Yeah, <laughs> roll a... Roll perception, Reef, Reef, to uh, figure out if it's the same. I might not be quiet, but this might be the reason why. I also definitely rolled the wrong thing for Vondola. Um, no, nah, so just Reef because Reef's comparing it to uh, to a wand that he has. Um, it's similar, but it's not quite the same. I'm gonna. Uh, I think. <laughs> louder than I meant to exclaim that I think that they we must be careful they might not all be dead uh if if what I if what I smell right now we might be dealing with some people who are paralyzed and some corpses which very well might mean that they are using this as a dining hall and coming back later and we might encounter some friends so uh be aware and uh Reef isn't as quiet as he thinks he was <laughs> Okay, so at the servants' quarters, um, like I said, you have a stuck door in front of you. Um, how would you like to go about it? Um, your options here are typically you can try and break down the door with weapons uh, just by damaging the door. You could try to break the door down in one fell swoop, or you can try and you know pick your way in with a disabled device nice. check. Can we try to pop it off its hinges and avoid all three of those things and literally just pick the door up and then put it down? I think without using tools that that falls under breaking the door. Okay, so then uh, I, if I, I can have, assist. Uh, master work, uh, these tools or I have like surgery tools, so I have a saw. Well, I mean, popping the... It uh, depends on the, if the hinge is on the outside of the door. Because if it's on the outside of the door, we could literally just use any piece of metal, which I have a bunch of misshapen silver pieces, and anything that's hard and chunk out the pins. And then the door would just fall. Yeah, he says. Sneaky. I mean, it sounds more sneakier than us bashing a door in, and that way if it falls, we just catch it and move it out of our way. But... If you have a better plan, please do. I, I'm not rogue trained, and I normally just bash my way into things. Reef, Reef kind of just backs away from the door. Yeah, so would my mask work? Can I use my mask work these tools to like remove yeah. the hinges or unlock yeah. the door? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead and roll disabled device. You get a plus two with the mask work thieves tools. Sorry, All that right. was in character banter. I thought it was happening. Nadia? Right? What? Use, uh, use, the, use the force. What? Why? But I need to be stealthy. I need. I need to open this door. So do me a favor and uh, guide me to victory. Okay, I cast guidance on you. Okay. Cool. Alright. Plus three. Disabled Hebish. Can I assist in any way? Um. Oh, there's no assistance needed. You could, Unless but honestly, no assistance needed. <laughs> yeah. Um, Just let me cook. I am letting you cook. Uh, I was in character asking you if I could assist in any way, and there was already an answer plopped in front of me, which is even more funny. Funny, funny, funny. Words gone. Language goodbye. You, uh, you open that door um, pretty swiftly and easily, and there are two doors in front of you. Uh, there's one straight in front of you, and one to the right. As you've. 
you, you find yourself basically inside of like service centers. It's basically like a mud room. I, I'm going to smell both the doors. Which one has the smell of death more? The one to the right. We're going to the right, fellas. Okay. Um, you take a look at the door uh, and you find that this uh, this door doesn't appear to have any sort of special notable things about it. Um, it doesn't appear to be locked to you. Um, Is it trapped? Roll perception. Eleven. I mean, looks okay to you. Eh, good enough. I I open the door slightly to see what's on the other side. Okay. You open the door. You see, I'll describe this first room. Where is it? Here we go. So, what you see um, is a dining room. Um, there are eight seated at the finely set dining table. Um, they're all corpses. Uh, four of them, however, are zombies. Um, they are, they currently look like they are mechanically going through the motions of eating bits of rotten food that have been left on the table. Um, and you watch a cycle of them spooning it into their mouths and watching as it dribbles back out onto the table from their slack jaws and the, it, the process starts anew. Um, they, uh, the one that is directly across from the doorway uh, sees you and begins to make noise. Um, let's see. Is there a zombie button here so I can do this more accurately? I see one. That is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, just imagine some zombie noises. <laughs> Can I put out a protection aura? Sure. So Everyone, let's see here. Everyone's got a plus one to their AC. What's Don't the ra know. What's the radius on that again? Um, let me see. It actually doesn't say. It's just, it just improves her allies' abilities. It doesn't have a radius. Uh, it's got a number of minutes per day equal to my level. And this duration not must not be consecutive, but must be spent in one minute increments. 30 feet. I guess I'm preparing that for when we start fighting, and I'm going to cast it right before we fight, because it only lasts a minute. Okay. Um, so yeah, protection. Everybody gets a plus one to for the first see. Of the fight. Yes. Yeah, I'll just, I'll leave the, the big aura circle on. You just tell me when you're actually using it. Thank um, you. I appreciate it. So, yes. Uh, this zombie begins making noise. Um, you notice that uh, Sin, you notice that the the table the, the tables the chairs that they're sitting in are pushed in like pretty tight to the table, so um, the four of them that are they're in here are struggling a bit to get up from their chairs. Um, this could since there's one uh, just to the right of you inside the doorway, this could potentially allow you to get the jump on one before uh, before combat begins here. Yes, one attack or like uh, all th all two of my attacks. Uh, probably just one. I'll take it. But you would get all sneak right. attack if you hit. Oh yes. All right. 
We are gonna get that sweet, sweet piranha strike. And then, bam. Oh, yes. The zombie is just instantly destroyed. I'm just attacking him just because I can. Oh, yes. Well, ignore the four. So it was like 11 damage. So I'm going to add it. So I assume that everyone just sees me slash at something. And I turn to them and say, zombies, I just killed one. There's three more. Hit them. All right. All right, let's uh, let's roll initiative. I have initiative. Yeah, not good. Okay, all I needed was for one of them to roll worse than me. Ah. All I need to be Mario, if you don't shut the fuck up, <laughs> this is why you're choking on medicine, right here. <laughs> All right, um, then right before we go into initiative, I'm going to be peering over Sin's shoulder, seeing he's about to go pop, pop on something, and I'm going to pop off that spell. Okay, so yeah, you activate yeah, your... Yeah, really saw me stab something. You yeah. activate oh. your protection aura. Oh, that's... I did bad. Theo <laughs> did good. The zombies. That's all that matters. Theo did great. Yay, and confidence. I think I took that, right? Oh, yeah, you're good. I'm just waiting on Sarah. Check, check. Why are you trying to eat a coin? Let's go, Sarah. Let's go. It's okay. I can roll. Just so we can move things along. Come on, Sarah. Sorry, Alex just came home. Oh, you're good. You're good. We're fighting. Yeah, Sin found some zombies. Are Still we zombies. fighting? Zombies. Oh, we are like physically fighting zombies. I thought you meant like... <laughs> Metaphorically, no. We are fighting zombies in real life. It's a zombie We're fighting zombies in game. Uh. Yeah. Sorry, initiative. In Where's my initiative? Boom. It's not crop initiative for once. Go me. Let's go. Okay, breaking ties. Yo, you can get sneak attack if you attack one of them. Get him. All right. Uh, we are good to go. Yes, we're good to go. Do you have to be sneaking to get sneak attack? Not at all. So you get sneak attack on the first round against anything that uh, goes after you in the initiative order. Oh, okay. Because those targets are considered flat-footed. Oh, okay. Oh, Theo. Alright. Well, I'm pretty far behind. I'm trying to move myself. In. Oh, no! Fucking. Can you move me closer to the enemies? Yeah, 10, 20, 30 squeeze. Okay. Yeah, your, your full movement gets you all the way into the dining room. Can I attack or no? Uh, you can attack with something ranged. Ranged. Oh. So longbow. Um. Yeah. All right. So you draw your bow and you shoot. That is a thirteen. That. And then do I get sneak attack on that? On if it hits that boy, don't fail us now. I think. I think you do. Pretty sure you do. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, 13, 13 hits. And yeah, Flatfoot is lower than that. Okay, so that is two points piercing damage plus sneak attack. 12, so 14. Uh, Theo, you, uh, you take out another one of the zombies. It is Sarah's turn. It's the first thing Sarah's gonna do is move up so I can see zombies, maybe. Perhaps. All right, I cannot see zombies. 
I mean, I can move to the side if needed. You also did. You also have a little more movement. I I did not use all my movement, but like, I didn't want to like walk past it. Right. Okay. Um. Nah, you got this. People don't slow me down. So then, yeah, if, if Reef's flying, then you're kind of under him, or... Oh, cool, so... Oh, great. So, Sarah walks in, sees me, see if I could ping this zombie over here. Uh-huh. And oh because God, no please. one's in front of me for once, I can fucking scream at them. All right, yeah, so you, um... Very carefully, you make sure that you are beyond where Theo is standing, even though you're currently in the same space. Oh, uh, I didn't realize I was on top of him. Sorry, I'm gonna like step over the zombie's body. That's fine. Um, all right, so uh, let's see. Thirteen points of damage. Reflex save for both of them, because it's pointed at both of them. Oh, I only saw one. Yeah, okay. Wow, I'm surprised they both made it. Uh, 1916. So half damage, six points of damage to both. All right, I'll take it. Uh, and I pass my turn because I'm screaming. Okay. Reef. Reef is going to do his best uh, to get around Sin. And in the door. Mm hmm Is that okay? That's not viable. That that's that's not what I meant to do. So like there's say. good or yeah, if you're yeah, no. if you're flying. No, I, I was just trying to actually get into the room because I was hitting a wall and then I accidentally put myself somewhere else for a split second. Oh yeah. Okay. So I got in, um, and then I'm just gonna stab this one from where I'm at. Oh yeah, you got your reach. Uh, thirteen hits. This one, right? Okay. Yep. Four points of slashing damage. And I'm gonna step on top of this one's corpse to give out of the way and get more room for other people to get in the room. Nice. Nadia's turn. I'm gonna move so I can see. I can't see still. Can I speak test then? Yeah. yeah, you can get to there. Okay, cool. Uh, can I move one more? No, that's all your movement. What do you mean? Hey, back. We're a team. Yeah. Whatever. We're she a laugh team. at me, I laugh at you. We're a fucking <laughs> team. Worth saying because whenever she was laughing at me, Reef. Oh, I know. I wrote a song about that too. I just had myself muted before accidentally. I don't believe I'm you. Gonna, I'm gonna give Reef full strength. <laughs> okay, cool. I wanted to move closer so I can hit him with the boy, but I don't got my move yet. <laughs> yeah, just out of your reach. Um, but yeah, Reef, you can go ahead and check out full strength. You have that now for the next uh, six minutes. Check. We love that for you. Okay. Hyped. Uh, is that all? Nadia? Huh? Is, is that it for your turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, this zombie here, uh, like I said, they were struggling to get out of their chairs. Uh, it, it takes the, a standard action to fully rise out of the chair. Um, so it, the zombie can stand up and that's all it does. Sin's turn. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stab this motherfucker. Okay. Run a strike main stab. Yeet. Oh yes, I cannot be stabbed. Seven extra sneak attack. Yeah, this zombie is completely and utterly destroyed. I am the greatest. I have my turn. Okay. Uh, Vondilla. Wait. wait, wait. What? I'm, I'm so sorry. I just want to move right here so Theo can sneak attack next turn. Excellent. 
We like the strategy. Okay. Uh, Vondilla is going to kind of uh, put a put a hand on, on Theo's shoulder and kind of tells him to stand still as she aims down range with her blowgun and she hits the zombie. For, for one point of damage. More than Sarah. Oh. Sarah did six to both. Anyway, the zombie is now going... The remaining zombie is going to... Uh, while seated in its chair, no, no, realizing it doesn't have to stand up, uh, it's going to take an attack roll penalty to try and slam into Sin, and that's, that's like a four. That's not a hit. Theo's turn. Alright, well, in that case, auto attack mode. Dio knocks another arrow and eliminates the last zombie. Alright, so we'll come back to this music, which is a little bit quieter, so you guys can decide what you want to do next. Um, like I said, there were four. Um, four animated zombies and four other corpses. Do any of them look like Ryan? Um, that's right. It actually didn't give you guys a description. I probably should. Um, so Ruan is described as I have a picture of him somewhere. Here it is. Um, Ruan is, is described, like I said, as a, a young man, like early twenties, um, brown hair, with a with a center part, um, blue eyes, uh, kind of like kind of chiseled looking facial features, you know, pretty defined chin, um, kind of a a shaggy shaggier hairdo. Um, not like super long, but uh, none of these none of these corpses or or zombies were him. Excellent, excellent. Good. I'm gonna grab Nadia's hand and put her ear to uh, to this door. Okay. What did you hear? Talking to Nadia. He's asking you to listen to something. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I mean, you hear, you do hear zombie noises on the other side of the door. There's more zombies on the, oh, at the, on the other side. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate this room right here. What's in it? Um, it's. That room is, um, it appears to be like a, like a pantry, like a very, pretty large, like food pantry. Anything useful? Uh, a lot of the food stores have gone bad. Um, other than, you know, various like mundane items that, you know, cooking items, things like that. Uh, no, nothing of note. Is there any cans? Um... No, you don't. Strangely, you don't see any canned goods. Um, Damn it! The joke—it's ruined. Eh, whatever. I'm gonna say that everything's rotten in there. I'm gonna go grab Naughty again. And I'm gonna say what's through that door. Use your uh, ears. The zombies—were they nobles or are they peasants? Uh, the ones you've seen so far. Uh, most of them appear to be dressed like nobles. Um, there are a couple that have like servant's garb on. Um, 
Okay, you should not be able to go through the doors. I don't know. I saw nothing. I know nothing. So Sarah's I saw on nothing. I know nothing. I'm just trying to open doors and see what's going on. Okay. Well, luckily now I've put the proper setting on. Anyway, um, did it know? That was loud. Do we want to go in and fight more zombies or? Not yet, Nadia. What? Use your ear balls and figure out what's behind that door. I already did, and I don't think I can roll again. No, that was that door. Not yeah, that was that door. was the first one. Different door. Fine. Um, there are zombies there too, but fewer of them behind that door. It's not as loud. Um. Oh. Oh, yeah. Bondilla is <laughs> kind of taking a look at the bodies. What's up? What's up, Bondilla? She just says, I think we should look, take a closer look at these. See what we can learn. And look at one of the zombies. What I learned. I'm going to cast a heal check. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, heal check will work. Or... Or detect disease. No, nah, well, no, the, actually not, not even in this case. Or the other option is you can make a will save. Oh, make right a will save. I guess I'll make a will save. Never mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't make fun of me. My will is still weak. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so um, Nadia, you take a, a closer look at one of the bodies, and uh, you've you determined something interesting. Actually, um, the the body you're looking at, uh. And upon first glance, it looked like, um, you know, just another another blood veil victim. However, um, upon closer look, you realize that um, the uh, the symptoms of blood veil that are apparent here are not real. They've been manufactured somehow. These uh, these corpses are not infected. Sarah, write that down. He's you. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Aren't you the note taker? No. I thought you were taking notes. Oh, I am. <laughs> exactly. So write that down. No. <laughs> Fine. I'll write. I'll write it down. But don't expect my notes to be accurate. Reef is literally looking through the pockets of the zombie corpses to see if any of them have keys and if any of them were the ones who had control or ownership of this manor that then just got fucked over by what I think are vampires. At my notes is these diseased zombies are lies. Um, upon, so yeah, anyone else who wants to, uh, take a look now that the knowledge has been shared that the, uh, the symptoms are not as they appear, uh, now it's going to be a heel check to determine what's really going on. I have experience in healing. There's, I mean, there, there is another option. Um, what is the other option? well, based on what I, what I said that these, um, sort of markings and sort of evidence on the bodies was uh, manufactured somehow. Um, there is something else you could do to determine what that is. Don't want to give everything away. I did a heel check. I also did a heel check. Meh. So yeah, heel, heel check helps, but there's something else. Um, 18. I did a knowledge. Is alchemy or arcana? No, it's not skills. Oh, well, I got nothing. A, uh, spell is boy. I'm probably fucked. It's not spells, though. No, I said it's not skills. Skills. They're all it's I have. Skills. Could be a spell. Wait. Hey, we figured it out. Um, okay, never mind. okay, so well, they're 
there are magical auras coming from these corpses. Um, I'm I'm almost certain it's necromancy magic, even the ones that weren't animated. Um, let me just double check. It's got it's got to be necromancy, right? Yeah. Necromancy magic emanating from all of the corpses. So spellcraft to identify the type it of might, magic involved. It might be him, actually. Oh, murder's going to be sweet. Twenty-one. Okay, so Reef studies the corpses very closely um, and manages to determine um, the spell that was used. Um, these these, uh, these corpses have been manipulated with a spell called Sculpt Corpse. Essentially, you can reshape a dead body to look like other creatures or to display some other symptoms, or you can even look make it look like a specific person. Um, the extent of the spell use here is really just to mask the, the cause of death. Could that explain the fake blood veil? I mean, yeah, like when Reef finds this information, it's fairly evident that that would explain the false yeah. positive for the blood veil. I share this information. Very interesting. So we actually got something here. And just like with Lamb, the guards missed one hell of an opportunity because apart from the leader, they are all useless. Great. You catch Reef taking a big exhale of halfling weed in the corner. Better not be mine, you motherfucker. It absolutely was from when I stole it before. Oh, you, oh, okay. Just because of that, you owe all of your debts again. Well, if you've caught me back to like, then yeah, I guess so. I mean, I was talking to specifically you, and then you say, like, you were just over oh, the half and weed. Well, yeah, because in character, you literally turned around as in my mind, Reef is just in the corner, just being like, no one's gonna notice the time. So I don't like, want to smell so the body, so I took a big puff of the halfling wheel, I exhaled through my nose, dragon puff style, because it made me feel like a big puffy dragon, and then I was gonna go raiding the corpses. And you caught me. Just know that all of your debts are now owed again. Fuck. <laughs> Stealing from the horde is very serious business, Reef. As you I, know. Ooh, I... Reef just starts jotting in his notebook. Do not tell the horde the horde rules. They can use the horde rules against you. <laughs> All right, now that that's an established, Reef, where do we go? We can either go to big room with many zombies or somewhat smaller room with less zombies. Uh, DM, uh, in my inspection of the corpses, did I a find any identifiable traits or b a key to access any other parts of the house? Um, no items like the like keys or anything like that. Uh, as, unless I misunderstood, I'm sorry. Um, as far no, as no, like just like someone like proof of ownership, like oh, this is the oh, noble gotcha, gotcha, it gotcha. Was, um, like, like or keys to any of the like the doors farther in that might have been locked. Like so, no, some type nothing of proof of ownership or like stewardship of the manor or nothing that shows that any of these people are the owners of the manor. No. Okay. Um, as far as anything else identifiable on the bodies, uh, like I said, the, the spell is, the spell is enough to kind of hide the true cause of death. You just know that what you're looking at is not what actually happened. Okay. Um, and, uh, I meant about their clothing, like, uh, their house, uh, like 
since they are nobility and like are they right. uh, allies of the queen or are they nobles that were kind of like against her like so um, that's what i'm trying to my whole thing has been anything to subvert the queen it's gonna be knowledge nobility fair <coughs> that makes sense i have that i don't have anything I have some of the most ranks in my knowledge and ability when it comes to my knowledge rolls, and I rolled a nat one on it. Well, afterwards, I would like to get a crack at it. Because I also have nobility knowledge. Sure, you can try to. Hi. Motherfucker. Anyone else with ranks would like to try? There, please. I don't need a rank. <laughs> That's true, you don't. You don't, but I, I still have one, ask. I have, well, I have one. I don't know anything though, so it's I have, I have one rank, and I know nothing. <laughs> don't worry, Vondela's got this. He doesn't have any ranks in it. Use your DM powers, make her have a rank. <laughs> no. Damn it. Theo it's also, worth a shot. Theo also has no ranks. Um, so that's gonna be it. Uh. really nothing defining about any of these people that would tell you um, what house they represent. Uh, even if you could find any sort of symbolism to indicate it, um, you guys really wouldn't be able to pick one from the other. Okay. In that case, we'll do it again for the next batch of zombies. Now, Reef, back where we're going to where we stole my weed, dickhead. Big room with many zombies, or smaller room with smaller of the zombies. All right. Well, since uh, nothing of the bodies was fruitful, Reef Mother is being like, "Well, I didn't find anything of use on this." So, um, do tiny zombies mean that there are more pockets to pick afterwards, or do you think the bigger zombies have bigger stuff and more stuff to take? Probably the bigger zombie has more stuff to take. Reef just bada boom baby kicks the door open. Emperor's new groove style. Big zombie door. Boom, baby. I wave at the zombies. If we get this alive, you and I are gonna have a serious talk. Uh, I do this as. Oh, we, we rested, so I have all my spells back, so that's cool. Um, you rested um during last session. Um, oh. yeah, there there hasn't not been after the zombie fight. Not not, not, not after the vampire. vamp. Not after the vampire fight. The rest was before the vampire fight. So anything you used then is still gone. Okay. Well, I just had. I can use whatever. I just have things marked for a number of spells left. Also, I think yeah. I have one more spell than uh, the thing says I can cast, just from the bonus from charisma. But so yeah, you would have five. Uh, you don't even have your shit open. Cool. Hold on. Harry, hand me the circlet, would you? I plop it on your head. Okay. Let me disable it on my sheet. If it's a fantastic tactic that we just actually hand this thing back and forth and go, I want to, I want to think harder and do more charismatic things. Give it to me. Precisely. Sarah fifth is just level, giggling as she watches this interaction. Fifth yes, level Blood Rager has one spell slot plus one for a charisma bonus of two. Um, um Dura then, has. One plus one again, because you get a bonus spell for that too. So two. So yeah, four is correct. Four is correct. Yep. Ah, I misread. I misread. All right. So Reef kicked down the door. What's on the other side of the door? Oh no. What Which is door? Just because I don't see Reef. Reef's token is oh, next to a door, I, I, so I'm just... I asked. I asked which door was the big zombie door. The, oh, also the double doors. Any. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, so I. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm doing this this way. 
and I ask everyone to get ready to just fucking send it. So as okay. I take open the door, I'm, I'm just like, I'm glad that you cast this because I read up on it more because there was memory confusion from last time, and now yeah. I know how it works. This is something that you precast, and then it gives you the ability to do this. Too. Yes. So we, were together. <laughs> we, we did it together. Um, all right. So uh, actually you, you give the door kind of like a, a little nudge first. Um, and it feels like there's something like immediately on the other side of the door. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have you roll a strength check, uh, which you should still be under the effect of bull strength. And let's see what happens as you kick the door. Okay, 18. Um, you kick right in the center of the double doors. They fly open. You see half a dozen zombies. Um, two of which are now knocked backwards. I'm going to give them one point of damage each. Um, I didn't mean to click the second time. And before, before we uh, roll initiative again, I'm going to explain what you see in this room. Uh, you're now looking at the Great Hall of the Manor, um, and it appears that a massacre took place here. Uh, upon the marble oh, floor shit. and heaped in the corners lie more than a dozen corpses, each clad in garish outfits of sequin velvet, uh, revealing silk and colorful feathers. Masks of all shapes and sizes, each competing with the last in terms of elaborateness, adorn the dead. In several cases, though, these fanciful adornments have fallen away, revealing withered flesh covered in the telltale blisters of Bloodville. Most horrifyingly, upon a blood-slick space cleared at the room's center, sway three couples jerking like hellish dancers, all obviously dead. Um, Damn. In the Great Hall, uh, this would appear to be the room that contains the majority of the guests of the party. Um, whoever did this, uh, then animated six of them, as I just mentioned, um, setting them up into, uh, sort of pairs and let me reposition them just to make that a little more clear. Um, setting them up into pairs and ordering them to dance in the otherwise silent hall. Uh, oh, oh God, I think I'm going to be sick. You... Oh. You stand and you watch as even the two that you just uh, sort of displaced by kicking the door in um, sort of resume their dance for a few seconds. And then all of them turn towards you and they uh, ready themselves to attack. So no surprise around this time. Um, everyone is going to roll up initiative again and then away we go uh, yeet. so are they all hostile against me wow I have good initiative this time they're going to be hostile to everybody well I did compel hostility oh and now yes now they all see me yes um... <laughs> and if so can I rage um Oh yeah, because you you didn't rage in the first room, right? No. So yeah, so no. yeah, go ahead and rage. I feel like kicking the door open, yelling at them, yelling hostility would also be the time I also started raging after I casted the compel hostility spell. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, sure. Okay. And I'm about to roll for initiative. My sheet just disappeared when I tried to open it. Ah, uh, motherfuck, yes. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right. And uh, sure enough, Reef, after kicking the doors in, you get to go first. So I know from past experience that undead are weak to what damage? Uh, you know from slashing past experience and... that, yes, zombies specifically are weak to slashing damage. Um, as well as the various immunities that they have by virtue of being undead. So anything that's mind affecting, anything that requires a fortitude save. Um, there are several other things that I can look up if needed. Um, like uh, there, I, there are a bunch of different conditions that don't affect them either. I have a question. Sure. What move would it be for me to be, let's say 
10 feet above 10, 15 feet above this point here and having my glaive out and just spinning around full force with my wings as I like kind of swing at them. Like, what's stopping it from turning into an attack on one to me spinning in a 360 just kind of going kunk, 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 kunk with zombie heads? Uh, probably not having the cleave feet is what's stopping you. Cleave is what makes you go for multiple things? Yeah. Um, the Thank you. The cleave feet, I'm pretty sure it's if you... I think it's if you hit, you can make an, an attack against somebody next to him. Pretty much. Let's see here. As a standard action, you can make a single attack at your full base tag bonus. So within reach if you hit. Normal damage, and yes, you can, think, you can then make a second attack. Um, with it, when you use it, you take a minus two to your armor class, and then... On top of that one, there is also Great Cleave, which that one allows you that one allows you to continue to make attacks against any and all foes that are within your reach. Um, you can't at you can't attack the same target twice. Um, but I'm okay. es essentially cool. essentially with Great oh. with Great Cleave, you can just keep attacking until you miss or until you run out of targets. Uh, okay, uh, I guess I'm going to... For this turn, you would be able to fly in there and make one attack. That's what I was understanding, okay. Um... Okay, then. I will do that. I will fly in there and... Fly above them, out of their reach, right in the center point. And smack this one since I'm about 15 feet up with my glaive because I know it's slashy slash. But it won't let me click it, so I'm gonna click it now, right? Yes. Oh yes, look at you dealing damage for once. Wow. I know. Just uh, just ping the one that you are killing because that is enough damage to kill any of them. <laughs> uh, this one because it gives everyone else a little bit more room into the room. And cool. place our little room by the stairs. That one is gone. And they're all hostile towards me, and I'm just hovering out of their reach. And I'm my turn. All right. I yell at everyone coming in. The water's fine. Theo is going to let's see, 40 feet of movement. He's gonna go here. Theo will swing. His mithril rapier. Theo will hit. Uh, not deal very much damage, but does succeed in his attack. Nadia's turn. Sneak attack. Uh, Correct. Does get sneak attack. I'm yes. gonna. I'm gonna summon a spiritual weapon. Cool. Woo! Where, where do you want to put it? Is it here? That one. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's no, add no. in. I'm good. I'm in the corner. Here. Corner space. Okay. Go ahead and make the attack. Yeah. Gonna attack the zombie it has reach on. Because I just realized they're all not space gray. <laughs> they're all too close. <laughs> so it can attack this one or this one? That one, okay. Uh, 18 hits, 2 points of force damage. Woo! Uh, do you want to move at all? Are you good there? I think, I think I'm good right here. Okay. Sarah's turn. All right. Sarah is back here. Let me just double check something. Not farther than I could. All right. So I am going to move here and I'm going to try to use my crossbow on that fella. Alright. Okay, yeah. That hits. Um, damage is reduced by resistances to one. Um, but it's definitely a hit. Uh, this zombie somehow still stands. And then he ever did. Sarah kind of blows on her crossbow like it's a gun. 
<laughs> it is actually now that zombie's turn. It's going to try and slam itself into Theo. That's a 15. That's no good. Um, this zombie here is going to try to reach up towards Reef. Um, it does manage to, uh, sort of punch Reef in the ankles with its, <laughs> with its fists, uh, dealing five points of bludgeoning damage. I'm impressed that I managed to jump that high up, but I'm going to laugh. This, this, uh, rich zombie was determined after having its dance interrupted. Yes, I respect it. Vondilla uses her blowgun. She actually hits and does enough to destroy that zombie. Let's go. <laughs> this zombie here is going to take a step forward. Swinging its arms wildly towards Theo. Uh, 19 hits. Eight points of bludgeoning damage to Theo, and it's now Sin's turn. Which it is time. I'm gonna move right there. And oh my, there's two of more zombies on the way. Alright, we gotta kill I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this dude really quickly. Two zombies on the way, and additionally you hear this voice. Hey, how's it going, handsome? <laughs> Guys, there's someone here that can actually talk. We hear voices that aren't dead. Wait, what? Which way is it coming from? Um, I point, I point my tail as I stab this dude. It's coming. Stab. It's coming from the north. And then, uh, 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 who's your target? Are you flanking with Reef or Theo? Reef. Okay, so that hits seven points of slashing damage plus sneak attack. A sneak attack. A yeah. Eight. Yeah, that's that's enough to destroy it. Oh yes. I cannot be stopped. All right, that's my go. Okay. Uh, that was one of the ones that hadn't acted yet. The other one is gonna see that its dance partner actually had success with a great leap. To. Clip Reef's toenails, and it's going to try and do the same thing. Okay. Uh, this one fails miserably, rolling a 10. And so it's now Reef's turn. Actually, hold on a second. Let me... Okay. I have to roll, roll back that back, actually. I forgot to account for the plus one to AC. Oh, wait, no. Your invocations don't affect you, do they? Right, they're, uh, they're only for your friends. So. Okay, I, so then, I only think they're for my friends. So then I was right. That does still hit you. Carry on, your yeah, turn. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's her allies. Gotcha, oh, gotcha. Sorry. So, Reef, you watch as your friends have destroyed half of these zombies underneath so you. They're following me, so I'm gonna fly to here and look into the room to see if I can hear that voice that he pointed out and then bonk this guy. Okay, uh, roll perception as you are attacking. Um, bonk, bonk. You hit. Bonk, bonk. You hit, yeah. Bonk, bonk. This one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he dead. Oh, Frank. He gone. And I look at them and I go, just more zombies that I can see for now. I'll keep looking. And I guess the, the zombies that are left are going to start following me. Because I forgot that they're hostile, specifically at me. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yes, so actually that means I have to... I would have had to have rolled a will save for one of them. Oh, well, there you go. Do, do it, do it, do it. When it attacked Theo. Not that it hit. Oh, no, it did hit. So, let's see. 13 makes... Yeah, 13 makes it, so that attack still happened. Okay. Okay. Theo's turn. Um, 
Theo swings his rapier, uh, hits with the first attack, gets sneak attack, deals 14 points of damage. That is another dead zombie. It's what I do. Only one left. Nadia, your turn. Uh, only one left. Only one left. Yep, your spiritual weapon would need to move to attack it, or you can move yourself and, you know, do whatever you want. Up to you. My spiritual weapon's gonna move. Your what? Spiritual weapon's gonna move. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna move back. Spiritual weapon goes. And you can go uh, ahead. I don't move to... I don't even move to see. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, just make it sure. Alright, uh, 19 hits, 6 points of force damage. Um, not quite enough to kill it, but, uh, a very, very strong blow. In fact, you, you hack off w one of its arms. Woo! All right. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. Cyrus turn. Okay. I'm going to venture in. Mm hmm And I'm gonna scream at that one too. Court of shards, okay. Reflex save negates against fifteen. Sixteen, no damage. I like the idea, though. I do like to see you see the game. Alright. Zombie's turn. It's going to mindlessly trudge its way towards Reef. Attempt to leap up and slam into him. Wow. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> oh, dear. Crazy. Um... Let's see. Reef takes uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Must have avenged the retarded dragon. Oh no. Ondilla just runs forward. Um, she does have line of sight, so she'll. Uh, Make another blowgun attempt. I'll have to... We, we gotta get her an actual weapon. She actually d hits and deals... Oh, right. I forgot. It's not slashing damage. Um, so yeah, one point of damage. That zombie is still up. But I imagine not for long as it's now Sin's turn. Let's go. We be the charging. Next, after this, after we get out of here, I'm taking I'm taking Von Dilla to the, to the general store. To the you weapon shop. You won't be able to remember. <laughs> you don't know that. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yeah, no, you don't. I know everything. All right, here. Actually, in in fairness to Reef, let me uh, what? let me let me roll a skill check for uh, for our zombie friend here, because that is quite a long way to have to jump up to to reach him. It is true. I I should I should be making these zombies do these checks. Uh. That's a high enough number that I have to check if that's good enough to see if it worked. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, it's... Let's see. Calculating for reach. Jumping ability. Amount of feet it would have to jump to reach reef. No, I know, I know. I, 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 I still should be doing this the proper way, though. Um, yeah, the zombie, the zombie cannot jump that high, so you'll you'll get your you'll get your health back. Um, all right. Sorry. Very nice. I still I still got a reef. Yeah, yeah. Sorry to sorry to delay you. Go ahead. Don't worry about it. It's all it's all, it's all to the build up. The sweet attack right here, Haboingus. That, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah. Yes. That'll do it. Then, a bail. Damn it. Three. 
Yeah. It's it's still, I mean, again, sneak attack not necessary. You had enough damage. Yeah. I hit all the times. Let's go. Rafe, how, how much damage did you take? He only took five total. I, I don't need to use my special wand yet. We gotta maximize. Ah, I'm, also, I, I'm hearing. I'm here up. too. What? I'm shouting for you to come on then and catch up. I don't want to go lose you. Your your life giver, remember? Sin, I'm here too. Giver. I'm here too. You hear something, Reef? Yes. Sounds eerie. Wow, I guess you don't hear anything healing you later when you get hurt. Shut the fuck up, Reef. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't healing you. I said you just didn't hear it happening. That's true. Healing magic is very quiet. It's mystical. I'm not Mine, not healing. so much. I'm not just healing magic, you know. Oh, do there you are, Nadia. How, how's life treating you? Fuck you. Getting you getting kills? Where's you my wish. Cure wounds? I have cure light wounds. Where is it? Probably, he's probably a wand. No, I have it actually as a hand thingy because I'm a Namadora but Namadora. Before you use a spell slot, I'm just gonna use one of the the wand of uh cure light wounds before you can before you can use your magic. But uh... Hold on, did I Let's... let me I I might have just forgotten to add it and if I did that's on me. Let me This is for Sid. I can, I, can I use my wand fast enough? Is the question. No. Be quiet. You're not the all powerful god, thank you, my bobber. Neither of you. True, I'm asking the all powerful thing, my bobber. If what? Your wand uses faster than Reef casting a spell? Yes. <laughs> Roll sleight of hand. Ooh, I'm good at these. Ha bam. 28. It's pretty fast, I would, I would say. I, I'm, I'm going to say he beat me, and I'm fumbling, trying to remember how to say a prayer about healing things, because that's but new to I, me, and he just bought me with a goddamn wand. Bibbidi boppity boo. Bam. <laughs> All right, I'll only use a 20, and then it's cure like wounds. So it's 1d6, but I'm not sure if... Uh, the store bitches uh one actually added any bonuses or not um cure wounds cure light wounds is 1d8 plus um yeah that would be dependent on caster level uh we'll say it's plus two wait can i also Can I identify the unidentified chain shirt that I have in my inventory? Yeah. yeah. As I went looking for things. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> let me just uh, let me just finish copying over this spell stuff over. To oh, sheet. do do what you got to do. I just thought it was funny in my own brain that Rifu just went looking for his prayer book to understand how to do cure spells and then found a chain shirt. And I went, oh yeah, what does this do? Then as soon as you look at the chain shirt, you you got you get healed a little bit. But then you yeah, just exactly. Oh well, right, yes. Uh, <laughs> Detect magic spell craft, all that. So while this is happening, I'm going to inspect the bodies to see if I can find our guy. Our guy. Good, good, good idea. Sounded like pig Latin for a second. Our oh, sorry, yes, yeah, because I like stuttered, but yeah, our guy. I know, I know, I stuttered oh, too oh, though, but I it made me that. happy. Um, eleven is not enough to identify it. Um. Let me see if there's anyone who is not here that can assist you. Nadia. Uh -huh. Theo has no ranks. I, I, thought she, she, I thought she did have spellcraft. That's crazy. Oh, spellcraft? I have spell. No, so the, can... Theo dumped a bunch of points into use magic device, not spellcraft. Oh, I said Nadia. Oh. oh. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure she does. 100%. She used it earlier. 
Yeah, Vondella has it anyway. Uh, 23 is good enough. Um, yeah, it's a uh, plus one chain shirt. Who could you be finding armor? I probably need it. So yeah, that's what that is. Um, Sarah, looking around, um, there are so many different sets of footprints and blood trails and, um, you know, other, uh, sort of clues to find in here that, um, it's going to be very difficult to identify your guy among them. Uh, he might be here. He might not be here. Area just like Nadia, you know what to do. What do you want me to do? Help Sarah with your eyeballs. Why don't you help Sarah with your eyeballs? My eyeballs are defective, that's why. I use yours. You can you, you have can special have my, eyes. You can look for me with my, your special eyes. You, you can have my glasses. My brain! I have glasses. <laughs> you can have my other glasses. See, this is why you, you we use your eyeballs. Nadia, can you please? Nadia, we really need to find this guy. Can you please give me a hand? I, I did. Okay, I didn't see that, but yeah, Sarah's like asking <laughs> you in character. She's like, Nadia, look, I know he's a pain in the ass. Can you just help me, please? See, that's how that's how you ask someone for help. You need to take notes, Sin. Sin takes notes. Do not do that. <laughs> You're an you, you know that there's no like you know there's no discussing this with him so i don't know why you keep trying <laughs> i will never stop trying oh uh, even though he's not evil like he thinks he is i'm literally right. a devil i'm evil you're not uh, you're not that's evil. not what your alignment says um i'll kill you bitch remember when we discussed your alignment i did it someone detected that you were not evil so he <laughs> Well, it was Reef. We all know how Reef functions, so I don't believe it for a second. Well, I believe Reef, so... I'm not you believe anything. Not a lie. Oh, yeah? Reef, lie. I? Yes. The queen is gonna stay alive for much longer. See? Very convincing. No, it's not. Shut up, Nadia. The no. queen like, is... That's not even a lie? It's like an anti-chant? Oh no, it's, 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 oh yes, it's not a lie. The queen will live forever, always. Yep, long live no, the vampire the queen. I'm, that's not the point that I'm making. The point that I'm making is that, like, no, could you, you agree that the vampire to... queen? Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> anyway Nadia, Nadia, do you see anything? Um, I don't know. Nadia, God, does Nadia see anything? She she does. She she does find something. She finds um kind of uh stashed away under uh, one of the sort of corner tables in this great hall. Um find what appears to be uh, a part of some kind of musical instrument. Ooh. That has that has been, you know, broken. Um, whether into two or, or several pieces, um, yeah, you find what looks to be, um, he, I mean, it could be, it could be one of a few different instruments, but it's definitely of the wind variety. And, um, you know, you recall that, uh, uh, Cressida giving you the detail that Ruan is a, an accomplished, uh, ocarina player. Well, I'm assuming that Sarah... Like knows her instruments. I mean, upon seeing it, yeah, you you yeah. you might recognize it. Sarah, you're musically inclined. What is this? It looks like part of an ocarina. <laughs> also. Oh, oh, hey, hey, he plays an. Oh dear. Look at the body. Look at the body. Look at the body. Look at the body. We are looking at the body. 
Reef is like, no, but Reef is literally picking up the corpse and holding it up to the light, showing people's face, showing the clothes, and being like, is this, is this, is that her son? Do we, is it, oh. So, is the body that Reef is now fondling um, our guy? <laughs> no. Roping the guy. No, it's not your guy. Um, okay. Perception Sarah's checks like, tell you that not... he's not in here. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah's like, uh, yeah, Reef, that, that's not our guy. I, I don't even think he's in here. But it's his work over. And I think he may have been dragged off. Do I see a trail from, like, roughly where I see his ocarina what is like leading somewhere um like i said there's so many different pools of blood and blood trails and footprints that go in all directions that it would be impossible to determine which ones belong to him uh, right so she's like i think he may is he what oh, he's not in here i was gonna ask was he one of the zombies mm-hmm. no he wasn't i was like i don't i don't see him um Maybe we should go back to the to the to the bank and ask about it. Nah, um, we wouldn't know anything. You uh, you hear uh, the the same feminine voice again. Oh, that's ironic. I just asked. Uh, said Reef looked for the voice. Um, so I was like, well, there's voices, so it sounds like there's somebody alive. Maybe we should go find them. No, trust yeah. me, the voice is evil. As uh, she she angrily just says, "Take care of them, you idiots." Oh um, wait, never. Oh, no. Sarah hears this. She goes, "Nope, never mind. Let's not find the voice." I uh, Reef is looking for what direction and is trying to hone in. Whatever I can do to 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 da ba da, hone in on that shit. Let's go. I'm doing it. This time it comes from the east. Ah. Uh, you mean the weef? Never. You. Sorry. That's Wes Patrick. Never eat soggy waffles. Let's to the east. Uh, three more zombies. I didn't mean to move. No. Begin to approach. Was I here? No, I was here, right? Wherever I was. You were there, yeah. Cool. Are we rolling initiative again? Um... No, I think let's stop here for the night. Um, but they gotta die, Tim. Oh, they'll Are die, all right. They're laughing at me. I have full confidence that we'll finish our business in here next week. Um, but yeah, you guys uh, have obtained quite a lot of information regarding the bodies from Racker's Alley, and you've got another lead in this. Bloodvale case as well, and also, um, and also on the potential undead activity going on in and around the city. So, Wait, these are not zombie. Or these are not vampires or zombies, but uh, still yeah. bad. Yeah, you know, I you, think that bitch that's yelling for us is a zombie. Yeah, it's a vampire. We're getting a bit of a variety oh. of. Uh, Undead goons here. Oh, we don't have any way to kill a vampire. So join us next week as we return to Carowin Manor and find out what happened to this poor boy named Ruan. Bye. We will see you next Wednesday. Good night.